And we are live. Welcome, welcome to my stream. I am Dr. Satan. Uh, today we are playing a very old classic. Well, not that old, but yeah, old. Uh, the game we are playing today is Armored Core Last Raven. It was released in PSP. And right now, we are about to play it on PC. So yeah, come and join me if you're if you're a fan of Armored Core series. I wasn't supposed to stream today. Once again, I have I am streaming out of schedule, but I don't know. I, I was just excited about I was excited about what do you call this? I was excited about uh, testing Armored Core Last Raven. So here I am. What was I about to do? I, I'm going to start one mission. Or maybe not. Let me just check first if I could upgrade something. How do you buy? I forgot how to buy something. Okay. Okay. I used to play this a lot during the PSP days and I'm about to do to do it once again. So yeah, if it wasn't obvious enough, this isn't my first playthrough. But still, I don't really remember much about it because all my memories focused on Monster Hunter back in the day. Let's see. I forgot whether weight having an S rating means that it's it has lesser weight or not. Like I know the bar is longer when it says S but I don't know who can say this is an old game so there might be some you know imperfections although back in the day this was really perfect for me sorry I'm taking a long time deciding because I have a lot to Consider, everything in the screen is uh, very important, that's why this game is so good, highly recommended for anyone who is a fan of From Software. And yes, you heard that right, this game was created by yours truly, the ones responsible for creating our beloved Souls games. Although during the PSP days, I wasn't aware of anything. I didn't know who From Software is. I just, you know, just play games. I don't care who created who. Maybe this one. It's hard to choose because I have to. There are some good uh, head parts, but they don't have radar function. Radar function is important so that you will see the enemies on your map. So, yeah, unless you're going hardcore, then you don't need it. Maybe. As for AP, I don't really remember what's AP. I think that's uh, something that contributes to your health bar. So the more AP your parts have, the more health bar you have. If I, rem if I am remembering it correctly. A 
as for versus VS ECM, I, I don't I have no idea what that is. See this? This is a good one, but doesn't have radar function. I would really be lost without it. Maybe I should go with this. So this is my very first uh, prospect for head part. I could also go with this one. Fairly balanced. this one I think I'll go with this one yes please um, what's true oh, wait, okay wait what I wonder what tune is. I don't really remember. What like do I have infinite tuning? Maybe I should go with cooling first. Okay, it's free. I can uh, respect it later if I need to. If you're wondering what cooling is, well, basically in this game you can uh, jetpack your way everywhere. You know, just like your typical robot you can fly away, but it has limits. I'll show you the bar later on. I need to buy other stuff first how do I buy other parts wait how do I buy over there wait I think weapon is the next one that I should be buying so yeah you got boosters for you know boosters and as for this ones once again this is something that I forgot but according to the description it has something to do with your lock on so I guess this one is only useful for uh, I mean, most useful if you are using missiles. There's really a lot of things that you can uh, take all this. Adjust with your armor core. That's why this will be forever my... This will be forever my favorite mech, mecha game. Also the reason why I don't play Gundam games, they are lame compared to this. Extension. So basically extension is your left hand weapon. Mostly these are for sabers and yeah, I'll show you again later. I'll show you everything that 
the game has to offer today. So this stream is all about showcasing Armored Core and also our beta test. Sort of beta test for you know future streams. Just to see if I could stream Armored Core and Monster Hunter without any crashes or bugs or whatever. Right, I remember, I remember. I remember buying this one. No, not that one. This one. Do I buy this one again? Why did I buy this one? See, there are a lot of things that you should consider when configuring your armored core. It's not just about the weapons, there's also the weight. If you want to increase the weight that your armored core can hold, you have to buy good leg part. So yeah, there's a lot going on in this game, a lot of mechanics that you need to really understand first you can't just buy and buy and buy that's why i'm also taking a long time like for instance the range don't underestimate the range because there are a lot of there will be a lot of flying units that has long range and if your weapons range is not long enough to reach them then you're going to be at a huge disadvantage. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, so hard. Maybe I should drop this first and I think I'll go with this one, but let's see, this one's really good. Long range and decent attack power. this one lower attack power but it's a machine gun yeah I think I'm going with the sniper
let's tune everything first with cooling oh right maybe I should put some in here this is what I'm talking about leg weight so again if you want uh, heavier heavier things on your armored core you need to upgrade your legs you need to choose wisely booster hit this I should lessen this one and let's see energy output and then energy drain let's go with this one so yeah you can pretty much do a lot of things optional parts I forgot what what I'm I'm slowly remembering things like I didn't just choose the sniper gun just because I saw that it was good it's just, it's also because I remembered using that gun this is uh, laser blade attack power I think this one is good improves cooling performance radar range I think I'm gonna go for this one Never underestimate the power of blade attack and I don't just mean the power of power what I mean is its importance with the game I should buy this one and this one there you go now the question is where do I see whether I have exceeded my weight or not Go for a mission. I don't know if you guys will will be interested in those things that are being said, but come on, from software, really, you're going to be interested in lore? Nah. scared me. I thought I was really overweight. Okay. I'm trying to test out the controls. Wait, this one has only 24 bullets. Crap. Wait. Uh. 
Wait, was I supposed to chase? I didn't know. So let's boost. Oof. <laughs> I didn't know that I was supposed to chase. I was still testing. My bad, my bad. I was gonna show you guys what I mean a while ago. Maybe I should start with this one first. I forgot about the weapons. Crap. So whatever you see on the right side of my screen, that's our weapon and whatever number it is at, that's the only thing you have. That's why I said a while ago that the blade is very important. Hurry, Raven. They're getting away. Wait, was it the capture mission? I didn't know. Jeez. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I thought that I selected the other mission a while ago. Damn it. Well, anyway, that's okay. So now we can change the weapon and buy, and buy something else. Or maybe not. We'll see. We'll see first. Let's redo that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the mission already. I mean, I failed twice, but yeah, I know the mission already. This stream will go for, I don't know, less than two hours. Supposedly, it's two and a half hours, but I got, I wasted a lot of time. Uh, doing some control mappings and stuff. I was so confused and lost. So let's do this first. So the pooling refers to the... You see on the left side of my screen? Basically that's... Easy peasy, but feels like I should be changing weapons. I need to change change something. This isn't like any normal mission. I would be needing more bullets for missions that are usually longer than this.
let's check our email. Don't get cre don't get curious now. These are just something something. Something that's not important. Also this game has this VR arena. So basically you'll be fighting 30 opponents to get extra money and I forgot what else you get for defeating them, but I know there's there's another thing that you get. Most especially for reaching rank 1. Let's save first. This is old school after all. No checkpoints whatsoever you need to save. Don't forget to do that every mission. And again, I need to change something. I guess I should buy better. No, not gun. Better. What do you call this? Blade. So as I was saying a while ago, cooling refers to the uh, the refresh rate or what do you call this the energy regeneration on your boosters. What and you have to be careful not to deplete it completely. So you really have to plan whether you're going you're going to be using your boosters a lot or do you just use it halfway things like that because if you deplete the boosters it will take a while before it will recover This is the extension. Mm. Are this useful? Oh, this one. I think I need this ammo capacity. Let's see. With improved ammo stores. Wait, what's the difference? Uh, more and trace. What's the difference? I wonder. Rounds for right arm rifles. Thirty six rounds, one reload for right arm rifles. What am I using right now? this sniper I wonder if rifle and sniper rifle falls under the same category I guess this is one this is one of those uh, in all this imperfect things you know that maybe there's a grammar problem Is this the one I was looking for? Or maybe another one. This one? No? Where was it? Moray and Gar. Alright. I think my understanding was wrong a while ago. 
Oh, this one is for missile intercept. You know, if if your enemy fires a missile at you, this will automatically fire at the missile and you know, you don't have to waste any bullets on it. That's probably it. Maybe this one. Laser rifles, arm rifles. I'm I will have to gamble on the fact that sniper rifles and rifles are the same thing. Just from what I know, old games usually when they say rifles they refer to the uh, semi-automatic rifles and they would specifically say sniper rifles for those you know sniper rifles so I'm going to have to gamble on this one hopefully nothing goes wrong also I still don't know whether I'm overweight or not so there's that I still have enough credits for something maybe I should buy better better legs or better boosters So these are the three main choices that we have because we're looking at boost power and then the other factors are to be considered I'm still not sure whether lower rating on weight means lower weight or is it the opposite Maybe we should just, you know, trust the price. I mean, like, since it's uh, more expensive, it should be the best choice, you know. It's a flawed thinking, I know, but who knows, right? because it's hard to choose overall they're pretty much equal they have their own strong points and bad points mm, I don't know just I'll just uh, focus on the price heat is correct I don't think I would want to sacrifice faster overheat over acceleration yeah that's about it 
I will save first, just to be sure. I'm really, really scared about game crash right now. So yeah, that's also our purpo purpose. That's why I call this beta test stream. So that I could see whether future streams, future PSP streams would be would be okay or somewhat decent I suppose take okay, mission so I'm done with this one I wonder if I could repeat the mission and then gain some money because if I can maybe I should Wait, where did the 160,000 reward go? There should be one here. Did I? Uh oh. Maybe I should have. Uh oh. That was bad. I should have started with it, but I didn't know. Also, I remember escort missions are so bad. So bad at this game. But I'll choose this one first. Just to show you how stupid ex escort missions are. The AI in this game is really good. So they're really smart, they know their target, so if you're not fast enough, they would be switching targets every now and then from you, between you and your escort. Escort, escort T? Is there a word as escort T? I guess this one is good because what you're escorting is apparently an armored core. There, it's fast. Hey, don't move! The escort missions that I'm talking about, the bad ones are... Is that an enemy behind me? Am I leaving? Am I leaving him to die? Sorry about that. But yeah, as I was saying a while ago, the escort mission that I was referring to is the one where you have to escort a moving vehicle oof my bad i wasn't looking at the map i didn't know that enemies would come from behind So I'll be ending stream at, right now my time is 2 p.m. I'll be en ending stream at 2.30. Again, just a short stream. Also, I guess I have shown you how stupid escort missions are, so I'll skip that.
do this first. Slow down. The hell? I guess this is the next improvement that I need. Crap. Ah. How do I reload again? I forgot how to reload. How do I use the... My ammo? Crap, I don't know how to reload. This is bad. So bad. Just searching it. I'm not gonna waste my time figuring it out. How do I use the. Maybe my gamble didn't pay off. What do you think? Uh, maybe I'm using the wrong question. How to use spare ammo? Nothing. And that was hard. Real hard. Maybe I should go back to escort. I need to improve my... I don't know what's the problem. I don't know if it's the head or the radar at my back. Because my target frame is so small. My enemies back there was super fast. And if you can't lock onto your targets, it will be a hard fight. Your accuracy depends on how fast you get that lock lock on
if I can destroy them from here. Whatever. No, don't miss. Okay. accidentally hit him by the way that's a thing here there is a friendly fire that's why it's so hard escort missions are so hard let me start again start the stupid mission Are you feeling it? The from software effect? Are you feeling it? Because I'm feeling it. The rage is fi piling up right now. I can tell you that. What took me so long? No, don't miss! You stupid! Freaking hell. Let's I'll leave it there. Go back. Go back again. I don't know how to raise the sensitivity of the camera. Because the up and down seems to be okay, but left and right is so slow. So that's where my problem lies right now. I hope this is the last wave because I ain't got no bullets. I ain't got no bullets. No, don't miss! You stupid bitch. Are you frigging? How many hits does it take? What kind of armored core do you are you using Jesus are you feeling it through the rage do you, do you feel it right now uh, stupid bitch escort mission you suck I'll choose a different mission screw this, this is the like yeah I don't care just commence get there safely so so this is what I mean before where you should use your boosters wisely because it may look as if you can simply jump and boost 
booster your way over there but depending on the distance you might not make it ouch see this is an upgraded booster yet I only arrived barely hanging And then there's the, if you had noticed, the... Do I, do I shoot this? Do I shoot this two things? No? Yeah, from my understanding, it's defend target, but well, where are the other enemies? Where are the other enemies? Huh? Am I missing something? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Leaving combat area, abort mission. Sorry, please head back to base. See, that's the kind of physics any gamer should appreciate. I'm not even mad at that, really. So that's how it is if. If ever you fall from a certain, from actually from from any height, and you try to use your boosters, it's gonna it's going to use a lot on the initial on the initial boost because you know of your weight. It's going to carry your weight. The heavier you are, the more it will, the more your booster is going to drain your energy. So anyway, 14 minutes. Mm, should I just go there first? And maybe... Should I just leave them there? Okay, that's one down. Let's go. Oh no 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 That's not part of plan. Let's not do that. Wait. Did I hit? Did I hit? Yes, I hit. Change weapon and then... Where else? Where else? Where are you at? Uh oh. The annoying part of the game. Don't fly on me. There you go. Come on, show yourself. Show yourself, fool. Is it done? Yes. But the thing is, this is from software. You know, 
Actually, I should have searched for... I should have left the one enemy from before. Maybe I should retry the mission, if I can. This is from software. You know how they hide things in Dark Souls? They also did it in Armored Core. A lot. There are some uh, parts that you can never buy in store. And that you can only get through certain missions. You have to find it before clearing the mission or else you, you will not be able to get that certain part. And the mission is gone. Damn it. So yeah. You should be... If you're going to play this game, you should really keep your eyes open. Real open because the parts are so tiny that it's hard to notice. And you should uh, you should burn uh, whatever you see here right now. How my armored core looks like. That's the kind of color you're looking for. So it's most of the times it's going to be uh, camouflage. It will be lying on the floor, lying on the road, but with that same color as my armored core, it will be really hard to find. There are no shiny effects as well, so yeah, it will be hard to find. Unless you're going to use a guide to actually find it. It's not like those parts are game changer. But I know at least one or two are very useful. Like for instance, I remember getting a strong blade, strong laser blade. So yeah, definitely an important upgrade in order for you to save money in early stages. I'm trying to upgrade right now is the no not extension the radar that we are using I don't know if I'm correct in radar type circle radar range I wonder if maybe I should just Google it. Just to save time, you know. Just to save time. And now to increase uh, lock on screen. horizontal view wow another vague description that I have seen see all this all all the people are saying here is that Lock on is hard and you have to buy something that has horizontal view and all that stuff. They definitely weren't clear enough what I'm looking for. Maybe it's the body or the core. Core type standard, maybe here. 
function weapon storage provided Lock time S. Okay, I could use a fast lock time. I wonder which one though. So I got two. Two S lock time. One is very expensive, and one is very cheap. We'll do this and tune Wait, there's no tune for that. I'll do one more mission and then before ending stream. Eliminate the enemy AC. Oh no. Let's do this. So I'll be fighting another armored core. Usually fights with another armored core is really hard. Because it will be movement intensive. Again, the AI is really good in this game. But I planned on accepting it. Would that mean that I tricked you? I'm just kidding. I'm just being a smart ass. Oh no. Stop jumping. What the hell? God damn it, stop jumping. See, this is what I'm talking about. The enemy is pretty much annoying. So you need to find somewhere. Ouch. I, I didn't even hit him more than once. Freaking hell. Oof, I fail. I pressed the wrong button, sorry. Uh, press R1 and wait for it. I wonder how I use... I still don't know how to use the bullets. What the hell? So he has a missile interceptor, apparently. And I'm not able to hit him. So yeah. Fun. How many more?
didn't mean to chase him. Yeah, this is Scuff because he doesn't have any limit to his boosters. That's how enemies are in here. So, yeah. Ah, the targeting, the sensitivity is so hard. hit him with laser countless of times and he did not freaking fall what do you want me to do bitch stupid bitch is there anything that I can do to increase the stupid sensitivity Nothing, of course. This is an old game, so... Uh. Oh yeah, apparently I won't be beating him anytime soon. I'll just do this. I don't want to end this with a failed mission, so... I'm gonna do the other mission before ending the stream. Just to end the stream with a good performance. What if I don't wanna look around? Wait. Where? Seriously, where? Okay, it's there. No, it's not there. Can I destroy this? What the hell? Where in the heck did you bring me to? Oh, there, down below, this one. Wait, what? Oh, this one is in the Is it not that target? Maybe I should be picking restart game instead. Follow the enemy and see where it leads you. 
Why the hell this do I lock on? How so? Am I not supposed to feel this? Don't tell me this is another armored core. Okay, it isn't. Or maybe it is. Uh oh, I remember that dude. We are going to fight this dude on a later mission. Their true strength can be gauged from this. And I'm telling you right now, that one is hard. The survey is complete. Mission successful. And if you want to know why, it's because some armored core enemies have different AIs. And Jack O's AI involves using blades and when armored core enemies use blades it's going to be really difficult it deals a lot of damage around 1000 or so and it's not like it's easy to dodge either it's pretty much 90% accuracy so yeah it'll be hard Okay, that's it for today's stream. If ever there's anyone watching, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. And for those who will have had watch, thank you for watching as well. Thank you for being here. Uh, have a great day. Next stream for tomorrow is Monster Hunter supposedly, but I'm not sure. Not because of the game but because I tweaked the I told you a while ago I messed with the mappings and I had a hard time doing so so if ever I switch to Monster Hunter I would probably need to tweak the control mappings once again and it will be it might be wasting my time a lot if I'm going to switch between Armored Core and Monster Hunter so I'm, I'm, I will still think about it, whether I'm going forward and finishing and try to finish Armored Core first before Monster Hunter. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Anyways, have a great day and see you next stream.